Welcome back. Moving forward, in this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to install the SQL tools in Eclipse ID. And the reason why we need the SQL, right? Because so that we can actually see when Hibernate actually creates these queries, we need to see the output, right, of our tables, our columns and rows. So as we create objects in Java, we will save them using the save method and then of course execute some queries so for this we need to install the SQL tools there are other methods also you can install SQL for Windows for example as a separate entity or a separate software and then use the command line to connect to your SQL backend and then run or create the tables and database and set the root passwords and so on but since we're working in the integrated development environment Eclipse it's easier if you just use the SQL tools and I'm going to show you how to install the tools in this lesson and later on I'll also demonstrate how to connect to your SQL so let's begin let's go ahead and simply navigate to our help and then click on the Eclipse marketplace and this will bring up a dialog box where I can simply go ahead and click on the find field here and type SQL so I'm gonna go ahead and simply type SQL and then click on the search icon and this is going to go ahead and fetch everything that's available under the SQL name so let's scroll down and take a look at if we can find the SQL development tools so it's 1.1 to version right so simply just click install and it's going to go ahead and start the SQL install before it installs it actually goes ahead and kind of lists everything that will be installed such as data tools platform for connectivity and all of these are required so the enablement intro model base SQL dev tools documentation and so on so once you've selected all of these and these are by default click confirm and this is going to go ahead and calculate the requirements and dependencies simply accept the license in the next option click finish and this is going to go ahead and actually do the install for our SQL tools alright so once it's finished it simply wants me to restart the Eclipse IDE for the changes to take effect so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes perfect so once it's restarted it brings me to the dashboard here so I'm just gonna go ahead and navigate back to my old view and close the welcome screen here perfect so now we're back so in this case in order to verify whether all of the SQL tools are installed or not there are a couple ways I can do so I can click on the database development perspective or I can simply click on uh, the help option here or rather the window and simply click on go to perspective and then open perspective and click other right so there are a couple of ways first if you have it already available on the top right menu you can click on the database development if not this is how you get to it so window perspective open perspective and then click on other and this is going to give you the window where you can select the database development notice this database development and the one here are the same so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and this will open up my database development environment and on my left Explorer data source Explorer is where I can see the database connections the ODA data sources and so on so at this point obviously I do not have any database connections right and of course I can go ahead and create a new database connection right simply right click click new and this is going to bring me a screen but in this lesson I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how easy it is to install the SQL tools within your Eclipse ID so go ahead practice and let's move to the next lesson